Did you know that the cryptography protecting Bitcoin and Ethereum could be cracked in just a matter of minutes by quantum computers? Sounds wild, right? But this is very real challenge the crypto world will have to face. So today in this video, I'll break down how quantum computers could change everything from Bitcoin and Ethereum and what's being done behind the scenes to stop it. First, let me give you a brief overview of how cryptocurrencies work. Bitcoin and Ethereum, much like most cryptocurrencies, rely on something called elliptic curve cryptography. Think of it like a math problem so complex that it would take current computers trillions of years to solve. This is exactly what keeps your private keys safe and your funds secure. But here's the catch. The quantum computers don't play by the same rules as regular computers. Using something called Shor's algorithm, they can solve these insanely complex math problems exponentially faster. What would take traditional computer thousands of years could be done by a quantum computer in minutes. Now, this isn't some far off science fiction scenarios. Companies like Google have already made big breakthroughs in quantum computing. Their Willow quantum computer has shown just how fast this technology is evolving. It's not a matter of if quantum computers will pose a threat. It's a matter of when. This looming threat has even been given a name, Y2Q, which stands for Ears to Quantum. It's an analogy to Y2K, referring to the unknown year when quantum computers will become powerful enough to break current cryptographic system. Just like Y2K prompted a global effort to update computer systems, Y2Q is pushing the tech world to prepare for a quantum future. So what does this really mean for Bitcoin, Ethereum and pretty much all the other cryptocurrencies? In simple terms, the cryptographic locks that protect these networks could one day be broken, putting wallets, transactions and even the entire blockchains at risk. This is why the cryptography world is already working on a fix. One of the biggest efforts to tackle this is the NIST Post Quantum Cryptography Competition. NIST stands for National Institute of Science and Technology. And after years of research and testing, NIST selected three algorithms, Kyber, Dilithium and Sphinx Plus. These are designed to be quantum resistant, meaning even a quantum computer would struggle to break them. But here's where it gets interesting. Some blockchain projects aren't waiting around for quantum computers to become a threat. They are already taking action. And one example is Quantum Coin, a blockchain specifically built to handle the quantum threat. Quantum Coin's mainnet was launched in 2023, and it uses a hybrid approach integrating all three of these quantum resistant algorithms. Kyber, Dilithium, and Sphinx Plus. By combining them, Quantum Coin creates a layer of security that protects against attacks from both classical and quantum computers. What's unique about this hybrid approach is that it provides a safety net. Even if one algorithm were somehow cracked, the other would still hold strong. It's like having multiple locks on your door, each with a different type of key. Break one, and you will have others keeping you safe. And this isn't just theoretical. By addressing these risks now, Quantum Coin is positioning itself as a leader in the future-proof blockchain security. While most cryptocurrencies are vulnerable to quantum threats, Quantum Coin is already prepared because the future of cryptocurrency isn't just about which coins will make you rich, it's about which ones can survive. And the big question now is, how do you see the future of crypto in a world with quantum computers? Let's talk about this in the comments and don't forget I have linked Quantum Coins website and socials in the description below. If you want to learn more, make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.